Health care reform remained one of Bevin's top platforms throughout his campaign. He staunchly opposes the Affordable Care Act and has vowed to eliminate the state's health care exchange known as Connect. Christina Moore has been looking into this story. She's here now to look at the potential impact on the state. Christina? Vicki, throughout his campaign, Matt Bevin made it clear he wants to eliminate the state run health care exchange program known as Connect and direct people to the federal system instead, as many states already do. So last night, after his win, he was asked directly about Connect and Medicaid. Thank you, these are things that will follow on in the very same fashion. Obviously, these things cost money. All these things are going to have to be addressed. But there's an old saying that if you chase two rabbits, you won't catch either one of them. Now, on Bevin's campaign website, it says health care reform in Kentucky begins with freezing and beginning to disband Connect immediately and assisting as needed in transitioning our citizens quickly from a state run exchange to the federally run health care exchange. University of Kentucky professor Steve Voss says it may be premature to determine if Bevin will go through with that promise. Voss says Governor Bashir used what's called unilateral executive action to set up Connect without getting approval from the legislature. It's possible Bevin could use that same action to disband it. Now, last year, more than 500,000 people signed up for insurance through Connect. It was seen nationally as a success. However, this month, the state's cheapest option, Kentucky Health Cooperative, announced it will not offer policies starting next year because of a lack of funding. I did talk with several entities in Louisville today who help people sign up for insurance through Connect. One health care provider did not want to comment today, saying there's not enough concrete information yet on what Bevin is going to do. The number of uninsured Kentuckians has dropped since the exchange was created. Christina Mora, WLKY News. Thank you, Christina. We have the results from all of the races on the ballot on WLKY.com. You can also watch speeches from the winners and losers.